Okay, we take we do we we're, we're trying to take the coil off, the ignition coil off an ED Falcon six cylinder. Uh, this would be the same for a EA and EB, of course. They didn't change much between those three models as far as the engine goes and the major the coil setup. I've already tested the coil by using a plug straight into the coil. So I've taken I had a different lead, so but you you can take the lead off the, off the um, distributed cap that goes to the coil, stick a plug in it. You've got to earth the plug, obviously. I haven't got the earth on. Just get a um, a jumper lead. You can jump it to the body of the plug over to your earth terminal. So you've earthed it. And then you can turn the ignition over and you should be able to see spark jumping across here if the coil's good. I've done that test and I get nothing. I did it, uh, when I first did it, I saw a very, I thought I saw a very light spark for about a couple of seconds and there's nothing. I refitted it again. I've got a different lead, a brand new lead to the coil, to the plug, making sure that that's not the issue. And I just get nothing. So I, I take it at this stage that this coil is no good now. Apparently uh, they're synonymous with coils going in these cars so and I've never replaced the coil since I've owned it so it's very possible that it is finished. Now the trouble with the bloody thing is it's tucked up under the inlet manifold here making it super hard to get to so you've got to come down through be between these two inlet pipes. I'm using this setup which is uh, obviously you've got to have this similar sort of ratchet set uh, you've got to have enough length to get get in there and the distance to turn and the actual size is an eight mil eight miller eight millimeter uh, socket and I'm actually able to undo that get a torch I've got a torch or you won't be able to see I've also got the car jacked up because there, there's obviously two uh, bolts holding it in on the side of the block, one above and one below. So um, I'm just uh, right. So I've got that on now. You can't see that, but it is on the on the thing, and I'm able to take that out. I can see the base of it turning <laughs> I don't know how long they are, it seems to be long yeah it's still a little bit um, now that's loose now it's just flopping around so I'm not I'll leave it in there because when I oh there we go it's come up as long as I don't drop it okay so there it is that's the uh, screw that's holding it in for the top I've jacked the car up like I said before so now I've got to get under I'll disconnect that plug and uh, take the bottom one off and there's a back plug and it, I sh it should be out right then we're looking at the coil from underneath the car yeah. and as you can see it's actually held in with a pin so you've got to pull there's a pin on top let me look uh, yeah on the top of the coil because there's the coil and there's a pin on top that you pull upwards which is what's holding the, the, the main wiring form to it so pointing those pliers I probably won't be able to record it and do it at the same time but I'm going to put pointing those pliers up there and pull that pin out yeah that's it that's exactly what uh, you do I put me pointing those pliers pull that pin out and the, and the uh, coil actually fell down on the ground so there's the coil 
and there's the, the wire form and there's the uh, the pin that was sitting on top like that holding the form I just put a pair of pointy nose pliers uh, under there doesn't give me room now but under, under there pull the pin up and the form just comes straight off now for some reason I haven't found any literature or information to tell me that so that's how it's done so you don't have to think well how the hell do I get this off so the call is off now I'm going to go and test it and see if it's good and if it is good well then we've got to go further back in the electrics uh, and I'm going to have to put a a, a uh, test slide on that on those pins in there to make sure that the power is getting to there because uh, it could be the wiring form itself yet so we'll we'll cross that path when we get to it thanks for watching